Hassan. It's a good example of the development of the construction of pyramids in Egypt. It also stands for persistence and steadfastness. This pyramid, named Zawiyat Sultan, or a Sultan's Corner, is situated 10 kilometers away from Minya. After that, we moved to a nearby ancient area called Bani Hassan. We climbed a mountain that is 160 meter high, where we found several tombs engraved in the mountain's rocks. Those tombs belonging to the Middle Dynasty is a living example of the dream of persistence. We have here about 12 inscribed tombs. Uh, a uh, good example of the daily life in ancient Egypt. Uh, the, this tomb is characteristic for the uh, sports and the wrestling uh, during that period. Especially in the tomb number uh, three of Khonamhotep, we, we see the uh, coming of the Bedouin caravan to the land of Egypt and visiting the governor of this area. This tomb uh, is a good example of daily life in ancient Egypt, especially in the period of Bani Hassan. Uh, this tomb also is uh, characteristic for uh, uh, reused again in early three centuries, uh, three centuries AD by the Christians who escaped from the Nile Valley and lived inside this tomb. This is why we have, especially in the tomb number 15, uh, some Coptic uh, gravity dated to this period, uh, by, uh, written by the people who lived inside. At this area, the Nile is at its widest, and this endows the city with outstanding beauty. Half an hour before sunset, we see the rest of the ancient city of Bani Hassan, and we noticed how the termites ate through the wooden roofs of the deserted houses. However, the houses still exist to give another example of the dream persistence. At sunset, we left the city of Bani Hassan with all its dreams and got ready to move to another place. Past eight, we reach the mountain overlooking the city of dreams, the city of infinite dreams. The place here is intruded in the tranquility. It was really such a pleasant scenery. We reached the city and began our tour in an attempt to know more about its dreams. But unfortunately, time wasn't in our favor as it was quarter past ten. On our third day, we decided to go to the treasure complex that is Malawi's museum. It comprises of collection of monuments discovered in Minya Governate throughout the ages. Those monuments belong to various eras such as the Pharaonic, Greek, Roman, Coptic and Islamic. 
The museum was established in 1961 to house the dreams cherished in the city along the different ages. We began to tour Minya Governorate to learn about its dream. The word Minya is derived from the hieroglyphic word Miniat, which is the abbreviation of Miniat Khofu. In the Coptic era, the city was called Mani, which means home. The recent name for the government now is Mini Al Fuli, which came actually after the mosque Ahmed Al Fuli, who was a Muslim scholar at that time. We went on in our tour around Minya. We got into the car and moved to another place that witnessed the flight of the Christ and the Holy Family. Now I'm standing before the Monastery of the Virgin in Samalud, situated 25 kilometers north of Minya, on the eastern bank of the Nile. Here we met with the tour guide, Usama Wadia, who took us to the church. He gave us a lot of information about the haven where the Holy Family stayed in for three days out of fear of the persecution of King Herod. It is worth noting that Yusuf al Nagar or Joseph the Carpenter was ordered by an angel to take the child and his mother and seek refuge in Egypt. القرن الرابع الميلادي سنة 318 الميلادية بنت الدير أو الكنيسة القديسة هيلانا أو الملكة هيلانا الاسم اللي هو دير جبر الكف طبعا نسبة إلى كف السيد المسيح اللي طبع على الصخرة اللي وعت عليه أثناء عبور المركب من الغرب للشرق في رحلة العائلة المقدسة The sun began to set leaving the place where Yusuf and Nagar and the Holy Family cherished their dream. Darkness prevailed, yet we went on in our journey trying to explore the Minya governorate and its dreams. But too hard, time flew very quickly. The fourth day, we met the governor of Minya General Hassan Hameda, who told us that the city's long-awaited dream is to be a well-known tourist destination. Minya is known globally. Minya, when the Nile Valley from Cairo to Luxor, when the Nile Valley in Minya was considered a thing that is known on a global level, so we will bring another. التذكرة بالمقاومات السياحية اللي بتتمتع بها محافظة المنيا السياحة في محافظة المنيا بتختلف عن مناطق أخرى إنها بتشمل كافة العصور من العصر الفرعوني اليوناني الروماني القبطي الإسلامي During our tour to search for another dream, we were following the traffic signs when a city named Al Bahnasa drew our attention. It lies 60 kilometers away from Al Minya city. We viewed a number of photos of the house of Coptic Maria, who is the wife of Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him. The house and the area surrounding it takes us 15 centuries back in history. The house was transformed into a spiritual Islamic place the people visit 
aiming at asking God to make their dreams and wishes come true. Then Ibadah ibn al-Samit turned the spiritual Islamic zone to become a mosque. We went to the artist Hassan al sharr one of the inhabitants of this dream city. He has always dreamt of imitating the ancient Egyptian artist, and he managed to establish an artistic school which is one of a kind in Egypt. إننا شغال في أعمالي المتواضعة في مرسمي اللي أنا مثلت بها يمكن مختلف العالم عن الأكاسيد المصرية يعني غالبا أنا بصنع أعمال لوني بيدي فرشتي بيدي He took part in many exhibitions in Egypt and abroad and his works of art are displayed in many museums His humble house was turned into a rich museum and that was the dream of Hassan al-Sharq. Although time is running, cities' dreams are the same as people's dreams. The city resists life pressure and doesn't allow it to break its hopes or affect its dreams. And people must do the same.